I lost my phone in the back of a grab taxi and got it back within the hour. Today I'm going to show you the exact steps that I took to do that. Hopefully no one will need this, but yeah, just thought I would put this video together in case you're going to Bangkok in the future. And if this ever happens to you, at least you know there is a video on YouTube you can find to help you with the issue. Now, I know time is precious in these moments, so there are timestamps below for every step that I took, and you don't need to listen to my story, you can get straight into the help. Hello, YouTube world. My name's KD. If you're new around here, then welcome. But if you're not new, welcome back, love. For those of you who are here who haven't lost your phone in Bangkok, but you're here for the story of how I did and managed to get it back, then hi, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, what happened? Well, for those of you who may be new here, I recently spent a week in Bangkok, Thailand, and the place I chose to stay was Khao San Road. And if you don't know, Khao San Road is one of the busiest and most iconic streets in Bangkok. I will have future videos coming up about my vlogs, so if you are interested in any of that, then make sure to hit subscribe if you do get any value out of this video. You don't have to, but a simple like would be very, very much appreciated. So Khao San Road can get a little bit crazy at night, um, but I didn't get pickpocketed on Khao San Road. That is not how I lost my phone. I did not get blackout drunk on Khao San Road and lose my phone. No, no. I went to Rod Fai train night market and in the back of a grab taxi, lose my phone. I still don't know how I done this because I was incredibly conscious of my phone the entire time. I was always making sure that I had it. I knew where it was. However, because the drive back, it was in a grab car, because the drive back was probably around 37 minutes, I'm not sure, it, it felt longer than it was, maybe it was about half an hour, but because I had been doing stuff all through the day and Rod Fire was a night market, so we'd gone at night, it, it was about half nine at night by now, and so the journey back, I must have fallen asleep thought that I put my phone in my bag and it obviously wasn't open or whatever and it had gone. So when we pulled up to Khao San Road, which is our stop off to get out of the taxi, I grabbed my bag and I left. Even though I should have double checked, I should have said like someone get a torch and just double check that we've got everything. But I don't know, I just wanted to get back to the hotel room, right? So I get back to the hotel room, put my bag down, get a little few things sorted, and then within 10 minutes, I'm like, oh, I'll get my phone out and I'll put some YouTube on while I'm sorting stuff out. And it's at that point that I open my bag and go through everything and I'm like, where's my phone? It must be in my other pockets of the bag. So I'm looking in the other pockets of the bag and I'm like, what? why isn't it there? Have I got it out? I'm looking and I'm like, what the fuck? Where is my phone? Where, where the fuck is my phone? Um, so I start freaking out and looking everywhere. And then it's like, no, I'm, I'm adamant. I do not have it. I just, I do not have my phone. I don't remember getting it out of the bag. It's, it's not here. I don't have it. So at this point, I have run down to my friend who is just is standing in the hotel room down the corridor. And I've run down, knocked on the door, knocked on the door, shouted her name, shouted her name. She's got up and I'm like, I think I've lost my phone, mate. I was like, can you ring it, please? And she, bless her, she just jumped into action and was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no worries. Came down with me, rang my phone, and that is when you know you don't fucking have it. When that's ringing and you ain't hearing nothing. Oh, I tell you what, in Bangkok that's a feeling altogether like i really wouldn't have cared that much if i was in the uk it's like uh it's, you know i've lost my phone many times in the uk but being in bangkok i was like oh my god oh my god it's gone it's gone it's gone there's like no way of getting it back it's gone it's fucking gone it's gone it's gone she's ringing it ringing it and it's just like it, it's it's ringing so i know that i don't have it right so then what i do is i run straight to my other friend who i don't even know why I, I think i must have gone onto my app and realized that i couldn't i couldn't do it from here right 
So I've now ran to my other friend and been like, bro, I've lost my phone, I need your help. So I'm going to break down as best as I can what I did with the screenshots and the small amount of screen recording that I have. I tried to go back and replicate the exact steps. However, because I'm not actually in Thailand anymore, the Grab app is actually limited with the options that I can do. So I hope that I'm going to put this together fairly well enough for you to understand how to do what I did. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get the Grab app. If you've lost your phone, then obviously just grab it from someone else's. Once you get onto the Grab app, you want to go and hit your account button down the right there. Scroll down, you'll see support. Tap support and you'll be met with this page. This is for you to tap which trip that you lost your item on. If you didn't book it on your phone, then just tap any one of them. I suggest to get through to the customer services. If you're having trouble trying to get through to grab customer services through this way, which I did, there's another way that you can do so by going to Global Help Center, report a transport issue. I'd like help finding my lost item. You can scroll down, click call us. It will prop up with this little prompt here and you can just say yes because you're on a Thailand Sims. And if that's not working for you, then this is the direct grab customer services number on your screen now. This is a very, very important part. When you get through to the representative at grab customer services, they're going to ask you the name on the account and they're going to ask you the email that is on the account. Now, we had trouble trying to get this information over to the lady because of language barriers. So make sure that you speak slowly and phonetically with each letter of your email address. However, also very, very important information is that my friend's email that he thought it was his normal email, it wasn't the one that he signed up with Grab. So in order to make sure you know exactly what email you are using and signing up to Grab to give over to that customer service representative, you must go into your account and then you hit settings. And once you've gone to settings, you can hit account security. Once you get to account security, you can see on this page here your verified mobile number, which is the Thai number. And the most important thing is the email address that is attached. Make sure that you use this email address and not your normal generic email address because they may have given you a random generic Thai email address, which is exactly what happened to my friend. Make sure you have this email address to get further in the conversation. Once you've got further into the conversation, the people will do the best they can to contact the driver so that the driver can stop at a convenient time, search for your item. And if they do have the item, you can make arrangements with the driver. They will give you the driver's number and you can make arrangements in order to get your property back. There will be a 300 baht fine. The lady on the phone said 300 baht and I personally, when I was ringing my phone, my story, you can check it out if you want, but when I was ringing my phone, I actually got through to the driver myself by him picking up my phone. And when he said 300 baht, I immediately said, I will give you 500. My, uh, my utmost advice is to offer the driver more than what they want. Maybe grab offers 300. I don't know, but I said I will give you 500 in order to try and make sure that I got my phone back. And I did. I got in contact with the driver. We were messaging. He let me know what time we had to be there. We got there and it was all okay. I hope this video has helped. Go, go, go. Now we'll go and do the steps that I said. For anybody that's just a story listener, we can carry on with the video because those people that I've just told how to do, they better be off this video right now. You know, I was in a state of panic. There is no way I would have continued watching this video. I would have gone straight to the steps on YouTube that showed me what to do. Da -da 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 -da. Gone. Absolute gone. So in order to make up for those people that I've hopefully helped, but obviously did not have time to like the video, please feel free to help like this video for them, as I truly, truly do hope that they have left and they are doing everything that I've said that they are to do right now. Time is of the essence. It really, really is. I was super, super lucky that I noticed that my phone was gone pretty much within 15, 20 minutes of us leaving the grab driver and I got through to the customer services within 
10 to 15 minutes. So everything there was about 40 odd minutes ish. And then getting through and everything like that, it, it was within the hour. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend to anybody that is going to go to Thailand or, or Bangkok specifically in the future. It's a very built up area. You can get pickpocketed. Not a lot of crime happens at all there don't get me wrong but Khao San Road is a huge hugely populated area and you know any populated areas just like in London and Birmingham and all the other UK cities you do have to watch out for this but you also have to watch out for yourself clearly because this wasn't down to anybody else but me so if I could tell you anything from this make sure that you check check and triple check that you have everything, every time you leave somewhere and every time you pick up your bag to go and do something or whatever, just make sure that you have everything that you came out with. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this. It was a bit longer than I expected. Actually, it's only seven minutes. It's not that bad. I thought I'd wrap it. Oh no, I've got an extra part to put to it. Okay, this video is a little bit longer than I expected. So thank you so much if you're still listening to me. You truly are a real one. Look after yourselves and look after each other, guys. I will see you in the next video, of course. I don't know where it's going to be, when it's going to be, but I'm going to try and step it up the content. So, yeah. Like and subscribe if you enjoy. Thank you, thank you. Speak to you later. Peace.